we will be having five rounds in this quiz uh, okay the first one will be on health program second one on some clinical scenarios third one on immunization fourth one will be spotters and the fifth one will be rapid fire round so for each uh, round okay like for each set of questions that you get you will be given 90 seconds except for rapid fire round it will be 60 seconds which i'll get to later fine uh, the first participant who will be going is kunj you will be going first then uh, bikki will be going second then dr dhruv you'll be going third and uh, webber you'll be going fourth yeah okay ma'am okay 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 all right so um this is the first round on national health programs uh, so the instructions are simple uh, one there are four sets totally in this round each participant is going to get one set of questions okay so there is one logo which will be uh, appearing on your screen in the beginning you will have to get that logo correct you have to identify the national program only if you identify you will be getting the other four questions and each question after that i mean it's actually five questions each question after that you will get two points each it's five questions sorry uh, so the total thing is going to carry 10 marks there's no negative marking here any doubts okay fine okay great okay okay first is yours kun yes identify this mm -hmm. uh this is okay. look look at the logo one second this is ntep national tuberculosis yeah. elimination program yeah right so you here are your set of questions first thing is name any three diagnostic methods endorsed by ntep for diagnosis of tb um one is uh, on gene expert okay one is, then is uh, sputum microscopy yeah like afb staining correct and one is test x ray correct correct so you get two points for that what is nikshe um nikshe is a program like it stands for nikshe means no nikshe means tb no tuberculosis that's a a program for tb but uh, what is it it comes under ntp what is it yeah uh it deals with giving various um, incentives to the uh, tb patients like uh, niksha uh, arogya then like niksha aushadhi portion uh, but what is niksha niksha uh it's a, a national level uh, a, a uni uh, national uh, tuberculosis identification number you get a id number for that you will get uh, registered for the same in the oh, i'll give you that fine two points uh, what are the two categories of tb treatment under current guidelines uh, this is this oh, two categories uh, drug uh, drug resistant and multi drug uh, no drug uh, sorry uh, drug sensitive and multi drug resistant mdr drug tb and sensitive and drug resistant okay two uh, points what are the drugs used in short term course of mdr tb um uh, like do you a uh, short course um, yeah do you need the both intensive and the continuation phase both yeah okay you tell me with uh, the duration if you can uh in the intensive phase it contains uh, clofazimine yeah then, um levofloxacin uh sorry okay. clofazimine linezolid moxifloxacin Mm. uh ethanamide then ethambutol and pyrazinamide for two okay. months and for four months you give uh, it mdr tb okay see the question it's only two months huh? no two months intensive okay fine sorry Let's... four four months six months if i i don't remember the entire no problem. period intensive phase has six, six drugs and continuation phase has four drugs four drugs are clofazimine moxifloxacin pyrazinamide and ethambutol okay uh, then last one patient with hiv and tb which is started first we first start uh, akt followed by the uh, art tb first AKT followed by followed by ART. ART. okay correct okay yeah. so i'll show you the answers now uh, the first i mean any three diagnostic methods you were right you mentioned about the mm -hmm. gene expert that comes under you know cbnat rt pcr you told yeah. about chest x ray you told about smear microscopy culture and mantox is also accepted under okay. ntep niksha yeah. is actually that web based it system for yeah. tb surveillance okay uh, so there yeah. again okay. registration follow up everything happens mm. yeah so point then okay. uh, two categories is drug sensitive drug resistant tb now here where you went wrong in the fourth one is the course you know it's four to oh. six months 
of intensive and then you have uh, you know couple of months for the i think five months around for the continued phase okay. uh-huh. yeah so the, the drugs are uh, only the drugs so i think yeah you can so, give them <laughs> you, you did answer you missed out some drugs but fine i i'll give you two points and tv so you were right about it okay fine. yeah okay so next question um it goes to biki datta identify this logo uh, national leprosy elimination program elimination or so eradication program yeah okay your questions are here so first one is who detects leprosy cases at a field level asha correct three cardinal signs of leprosy uh, hypopigmented patch, patches uh, thick uh, hypoesthesia or anesthesia of the skin patches and hy- thick and nerves okay uh, name three major initiatives under nlep any uh, prevent, uh, prevention of uh, deformities uh, then Uh, any intensive uh, to the hospital and to the patient uh, who are requiring uh, treatment for deformities then in- intensive to uh, asha for bringing the cases at the earliest level uh, deformities is one incentives to asha is one one more uh, okay i forgot <laughs> it's okay uh, then fourth, uh, fourth one is first 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 okay. this one fifth uh, one uh, duration is 6 months and uh, 12 months Okay, right. I'll I'll still give you full five. Okay, I mean five uh, into two, ten points. All right. So you've answered everything correct. Asha, cardinal signs of leprosy. Uh, one more thing that you can, uh, you know, like uh, peripheral nerve thickening, hypopigmented yes, lesions. Yes. Uh, you can, um, you know, also demonstrate and leprosy from lesion, but that's not a sign. It's investigation that you do. That's fine. Three major initiatives are disability prevention and medical rehab. detection of new cases even completion of treatment is a major initiative and the role of asha workers because they are going to be the ones at grassroots level who will go detect cases and who will ensure that the treatment is being done so they get incentives as well sparsh is a leprosy awareness program and posi basilary 6 months multi basilary 12 months okay uh, next one uh, tanusha have noted the scores no yeah yeah okay uh, next one is dhruv uh, kandi this is your question Is, is this NVBD CP? Full form. Uh, National Vector Born Disease Control Program. Right. Okay. Your five questions. First one is name the six diseases uh, covered by this program. Um, malaria, dengue, Kalazar, right. right. um, Japanese encephalitis, filariasis, right. right, and chikungunya. Right. All six right. What is annual parasite index? Like I need the formula. Um, I'm I'm not sure. Okay, no worries. Uh, so based on annual parasite index, how many categories of states are there? Um, there are three categories. Um, there's low with API less than one. Then there's an intermediate category and uh, a higher category. Fine. Okay. Then, uh, which month is anti-malarial month? July. What is integrated vector control? Ah, uh, so integrated vector control um involves the use of chemical, biological, and mechanical methods to control vectors. Mechanical, so, or you have a better word? Um. And um, like so, basically, biological, chemical, chemicals, environmental methods. But fine, I'll. Yeah. I'll give it to you for that. It's environmental. Okay, so okay, so you've actually got um, one, two, three, right? Two of them are wrong. So first one, name the six diseases covered by the program: malaria, filariasis, J, dengue, chikungunya, and kalaza. You were right here. Annual parasite index is. So you have to take the you know confirmed cases in one year by population under surveillance into thousand, and based on that, you actually have four categories. It's zero, one, two, three. Yeah, uh, and June is oh so um, you didn't answer yeah. API. I know you didn't get three right then. Okay, which month is anti-malarial month? Is June because monsoon starts then. And the integrated vector vector control. I'll give you. You told the mechanical science, environmental, biological, and chemical methods. Okay, 
so that gives you one two questions right out of five okay right uh anyhow added to this i'll ask you can you name any two biological uh, you know uh, i mean how do you what is this biological control of vectors um, any two fish you use used? fish gambusia affinis and and lebister reticulans right okay. next one uh, where have yes ma'am yeah so your 90 second starts now um, identify this ma'am this is the logo of national aids control organization napo okay your questions uh, first one is what is ictc otherwise called right it has been renamed into something what is that um Any i'm idea? not sure okay no worries what is link worker scheme uh, ma'am basically there is a chain of link workers which uh, link the tb program uh, hiv and tb activities and then uh, work work on it together to minimize the Uh, comorbidity. Okay, what? Uh, so Naco has been branded. You know, they have STI and RTI services by a name. What is that called? Mam Suraksha Clinic. Right. Uh, any two major, any two minor symptoms of HIV? A uh, major symptom is uh, chronic diarrhea for more than one month, and mm-hmm. uh, and. if there is persistent weight loss correct okay minor minor symptom is cough and fever fever is not major i'll take cough low fever grade. is actually a major symptom yeah okay so i will uh, yeah low grade fever for over a month is a major symptom but i'll take it okay what is the preferred art regimen in adults like you have to name the drugs ma'am uh, as to the latest regimen it is mm-hmm. dolutegravir tenofovir and emtricitabine uh one more drug emtricitabine can be used instead of something else what is that i'll take it i'll take it the answer is right even lamivudine can be used okay so you have uh three key answers which are right link worker scheme you didn't tell correctly so ictc is also called hctc now it is hiv counseling and testing center this is something that i learned at the phc when i was uh, posted there link workers scheme means it's like a community based uh, outreach so whoever you know if you identified a village where you have people who are high risk groups or you know who are vulnerable then you try reaching out to them uh, you know in terms of information education counseling promotion of condoms testing and uh, treatment of uh, you know their condition it's not stuff their condition and opportunistic infections you know through with the help of link workers so that people who will be you know connecting the uh, healthcare setting to the people so that is why you're calling it as link worker scheme uh, then uh, okay rti services you're right i put it by mistake it's not nirod it's actually uh, what you told so raksha clinics uh, two major and two minor symptoms of uh, hiv you're right weight loss you told chronic diarrhea you told fever is also major and minor you can have cough for over a month a generalized lymphadenopathy oropharyngeal candidiasis pruritic uh, you know dermatitis and disseminated herpes simplex and again the preferred art regimen is also right so tenofovir lamivudine or you told emtricitabine and dolutegravir right that's it so you answered the uh, 3 right out of 5 okay so this round is done uh, tanusha can i have the scores and yeah. i'll be checking it okay so kunj has scored 10 marks okay and bikki has scored 10 marks too Okay. Drew has scored four marks, and lastly, Vibe has scored six marks. Okay, all right. Thank you. So we'll move on to the next round. Everyone ready? Yeah. Okay. Three yeah. Yes, yeah. So uh, this is a round yeah. based on clinical scenarios. Okay. So uh, one person gets one clinical scenario, and under each scenario, there are five questions. all right so each question carries two marks and then there is no negative marking here again you will get 90 seconds to answer each uh, question i mean each set of questions so i'll move to the first one so two year old child is brought to the primary health center and mother gives a history that this child has got fever and cough since two days so kunj according to age what respiratory rate is considered as tachyapnea you have to classify it based on age 
you're on mute you're on mute ha uh, so like not for this case or in general should i tell the entire range your uh, voice is yeah so in uh, for the child for tachypnea for less than 2 months of age it is more than 60 breaths per minute Okay. then 2 months to 12 months it is uh, more than uh, 50 breaths per minute one year to five years it is more than 40 breaths per minute and more than five years it is more than 30 breaths per minute correct okay. uh, how do you categorize you know respiratory tract infections according to imnci uh, there are three categories uh, one is uh, pink mm. then yellow and uh, green what are they what are uh, they? so if there are any um, or uh, signs of uh, grunting or any acute respiratory distress Just name the categories you don't uh, it's fine Ata. you don't have to explain Ata. name it severe pneumonia pneumonia and um, no pneumonia okay right uh, what are the features of severe pneumonia um they are very very similar put together okay so acute respiratory distress uh, like grunting um uh, chest retractions mm. and uh, tachypnea like both in as per the age tachypnea uh, is a pneumonia what else sorry pneumonia mm, grunting is uh, your time is running out you already finished uh, 90 seconds that's to give you time okay sorry pass uh, management of severe pneumonia at thc how do you do it we give one shot of uh, iv antibiotics or mostly gentamicin and then refer to the tertiary care hospital okay name vaccines that can prevent pneumonia uh, pcv and uh, uh, psv pneumococcal conjugate pneumococcal conjugate vaccine in children huh. and in adults we give pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine you can go. only one But, vaccine no? i'll still give you points for huh. only one vaccine that prevents pneumonia and nis uh, pentavalent pentavalent one more PCV. pentavalent has components that can prevent even measles also okay measles. Oh, oh, oh yeah okay. right. so uh, i won't give you points for uh, three severe yeah. pneumonia okay, okay. so okay. Uh, you are right about the classification so when a child actually comes you know and the mother tells that there's fever and coughs you you start looking into whether this is pneumonia or not uh, all right so uh, mm. tachypnea is if the you know it's like a less than 2 months old baby and if the you know respiratory rate is more than 60 it's tachypnea between 2 months to 12 months it's 50 and 12 months to 5 years if it's more than 40 uh, then you consider it <laughs> more than 40 Uh, yes. IMNCI. Okay, so green color is no pneumonia. Yellow color is pneumonia, and then pink is for severe, very severe pneumonia. What are the features of severe pneumonia? You told grunting, the spider and mm. rest, use of accessory muscles of respiration, cyanosis, no intake of feed, and then you know seizures. And uh, right, you rightly mentioned management of severe pneumonia at PHC is you give the antibiotic first and then refer them. And yes. vaccines that can prevent pneumonia, you told PCV, pentavalent also, mm. and measles also. Okay. Yeah. So uh, next one, Bikki. Yes. Uh, here's your question. So there's a five-year-old girl who's been brought to the PHC with history of three episodes of blue stools. So first one is what is the IMNCI classification? Uh, of diarrhea or dehydration? Yeah, yeah, of diarrhea, of diarrhea. Dehydration. Huh? mild moderate severe mild moderate severe no or oh, no dehydration dehydration severe dehydration yeah okay i'll take that what is the mainstay of treatment for diarrhea oral re- rehydration therapy right can you i only put up the answer here okay do you know what is resomal rehydration solution for malnutrition okay What is the rationale of giving zinc with ORS? Uh, zinc uh, helps in epithelial regrowth and some uh, heals the heals the mucosal mucosa of the gut and also it prevents some water loss by inhibiting uh, by prevent uh, inhibiting some chloride channels on the gut. Okay, and name one vaccine in NIS that prevents diarrhea. Uh, measles. Huh? Measles, measles. Rotavirus, measles. Rotavirus is measles. Complication of measles would be diarrhea. I mean, doesn't prevent diarrhea exactly. That's fine. 
Okay, so uh, you were right about everything here again. So IMNCI is like no dehydration, some and severe. Mainstay of treatment for diarrhea is ORS. Uh, the question should have been what are the other preparations? But you know, I asked you about resum. All you're right about it. It's uh, what do you call it? It's actually dehydration. I mean, it's actually reduced uh, sodium. Uh, you know, uh, ORS for malnutrition. And the rationale for giving zinc is so you know when people come with diarrhea, we also prescribe zinc tablets. So it facilitates absorption of water and electrolytes, and there's actually regeneration of the GI epithelium, plus better immunity and increase in brush border cell enzymes. One vaccine that can prevent diarrhea is rotavirus vaccine. Even polio also you know causes diarrhea. It begins as diarrhea, so you could have answered polio as well that way. So you get out. Okay, so um, Webhub, no, no, it's actually Drew, sorry. Uh, this is your question. I'll start the timer. 38 year old man comes to the PHC with a history of dog bite. On examination, you notice that there's a puncture mark and there's also bleed. All right, so what are the categories of contact and post exposure prophylaxis in rabies? Okay, um, there are three categories hmm. um, according to WHO. The, mm -hmm. um, so the first one is just, um, there is no puncture of the skin. In the second one, there are abrasions. And in the third one, there's a bite. Right. Um, I mean, there's, okay, there's a bite, but what else? So in the third one, there is blood, which um, there's blood, which comes out. Right. Um, the first one is usually like a lick or just... Um, Right, right. You're fine. You can go to the next one. Name the different regimens of post-exposure prophylaxis. So there's, there are intradermal and intramuscular regimens. Um, intradermal Name. is the, uh, the, thigh, um, the thigh red cross regimen. Right. And um, intramuscular is a standard WHO regimen. Uh, there are two of them. You have to name them. I, I don't remember the names. Okay. No worries. Next one. How will you manage this patient? So um, Just the so steps, okay? Yeah, so clean the wound under running water with soap. Okay. Do not suture the wound, and um, okay. you give the um, so you give the first dose of the vaccine intramuscular or intradermal, okay. and you inject uh, rabies immunoglobulin around the wound. Correct, that's fine. Uh, anything else you want to do? Um, I would ask for the history of the patient's prior vaccination. No, 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 in the treatment part of it. Um, Just be fine. I would give a test dose before giving the IG. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anything else you want to add to your treatment? And whatever you told is right. Anything else? No, there's a wound. Yeah, so possibly I start antibiotics for sepsis. Yeah. Right. Um, you can also add a tetanus shot. Okay. Uh, okay. Next one. Uh, if this patient has received post-exposure prophylaxis for a dog by three months ago, then uh, you know what is re-exposure prophylaxis? It's re-exposure. You, this person, imagine this person has already had a dog by three months ago and has gotten PEP completely. Now, how? What would you do? Um, you'd give a, you give a two dose vaccine regimen on hmm. day zero and three. Okay, that's right. And Next we, time. we don't suture the wound after a dog bite because that leads to deeper penetration. Of right. the virus. Right, right. So um, I will give you points for everything here. You've answered everything. Um, first one is so three categories, okay, of uh, dog bites. So one is like the animal just licks on intact skin. Second one is there is nibbling, abrasion scratches, there's no bleeding. Third one is there is a transdermal bite and there is bleeding. So here the different regimens are. Oh, wait, you didn't answer question number two, no? Yeah, so I won't give you two points there. All right, so there's SN, there's Zagreb, and there's updated thyroid cross. You told intramuscular, intradermal. This intramuscular has SN and Zagreb. Okay. Then managing the wound, you were right. Clean the wound. You're not going to suture it. Anti-rabies vaccine, rabies immunoglobulin, antibiotics, and tetanus. And if they've already received, uh, you know, PEP for a dog bite, for re-exposure, you'll just give one dose on day zero and day three. Don't suture it because it will help the virus go into the deeper tissues. So barring one question, everything else is right. Okay. Uh, Weber, this is you. Yes, ma'am. 34-year-old lady comes with complaints of vaginal discharge since five days. So name the causative organisms for vaginitis and cervicitis. Uh, ma'am, vaginitis can be caused by candida. Candida. 
mm-hmm. and trichomonas right and cervicitis can be caused by uh, chlamydia okay and uh, one more uh, main organism gonorrhea yeah okay name the drugs used in the treatment for the same just name the drugs what all drugs are used uh, for candida we give fluconazole 150 okay. mg ah uh. and uh, for chlamydia we give uh, doxycycline and azithromycin uh doxycycline no um okay then and uh, i mean i'm talking about what comes under the programs okay then okay uh, then we have metronidazole for the trichomonas okay. anything else like there are kids by the naco so we use the first kit okay. which is green in color okay after this um, uh, refraining from uh, uh, i will advise refraining from intercourse till the time the disease is treated mhm and uh, or use barrier methods of contraception okay that is after uh, you know if they've been treated then and i will also advise a partner to get themselves tested if the discharge is not due to bacterial vaginosis then okay. the partner is also treated okay and name other two syndromes in you know in the syndromic approach like they not specifically uh, names of syndromes but rather you know some of the complaints with which they might come Or the condition, may, the patient may also complain of inguinal pain or lower abdominal pain, like in PID. Okay, lower abdominal pain is there. Then, and uh, they might also be an inguinal bubo. So okay. we have a kit for that also. Okay, I'll I'll give you points. So, uh, causative organisms: Trichomonas candida, Gardnerella, Mycoplasma, Areoplasma. Cervicitis, you can have uh, gonorrhea, chlamydia, even trichomonas. Uh, I mean, you know, HSV. And drugs which are used see, according to the regime that is given for vaginitis, you can use secnidazole and tinidazole. You told metronidazole, fine. Like, uh, so secnidazole and tinidazole. You can also use fluconazole or clotrimazole. So this is meant for candida. And for cervicitis, that is, if you identify it as cervicitis on examination, then cefexime 400 mg single dose or azithromycin one gram. That again is single dose. Okay, so um, I'll I'll give everything here. All right, all right. Uh, Tanusha, you ready with the scores? Yes. Okay. So in it? this round, Kunja scored eight marks, okay. a total of eighteen marks. Okay. And then Bikki has scored ten marks in this round, total okay. of twenty marks. Okay. And uh, Dhruv has scored eight marks in this round. Okay. With total of twelve marks. Okay. And lastly, Vibo has scored ten marks in this round with total of sixteen marks. Okay. So who's leading here? It is uh, Bikki with twenty oh. marks. Okay. The highest. Have... Then there is Punj with eighteen. Okay. 18. We still have um, three rounds to go, guys. Okay. So um. Right. So this was the answers, anyways. Uh, so, what advice will you give the patient and her partner? Okay, so sexual abstinence, education on the use of condoms, follow up after seven days, right? And treat the partner as well. STI kit, you were right. It is kit one gray. Uh, in the meantime, it's like the other kits which are there is like you have green for vaginitis. There's white, blue, and uh, you have a red color one which is for genital ulcers. Uh, kit six is a yellow colored one for abdominal pain, and kit seven is for inguinal bubos, which is a black colored one. And other such syndromes, you know, you could have told about. Uh, you told about lower abdominal pain and uh, inguinal bubos. I'll take that. Uh, others are urethritis, genital ulcers, proctitis, colitis, epididymitis. Okay. Right. So we'll go to the next round. Is on immunization. So this round again has like four sets, and each set has five questions. Okay. So um. what you have to do here is that every round begins with that one question and you have to answer that one question correctly in order to move on to the remaining questions and there's no negative marking each question has five marks i mean two marks sorry okay okay any any doubts here okay so kunj we'll start with you yeah what are the vaccines given at birth uh there are three vaccines bcg hepatitis b and oral poliovirus right So we'll move on. 
Right. So, what type of vaccine is BCG? What is the strain used? Uh, BCG is a live attenuated uh, vaccine. The strain mm -hmm. used is Danish one three three one. Correct. If BCG was not given at uh, birth, then up to when can you give it? Uh, up to one year of life you can give. Okay. Does it prevent tuberculosis? Does BCG prevent TB? Uh, it prevents it doesn't pre uh, prevent TB. It prevents the complications of TB. Okay. Major complications of TB. Right. And what site is BCG given and why? Uh, it is given in the left upper arm deltoid, interdermal. And I guess to maintain uniformity across all the <laughs> You're right. right. You got that right. Okay. So <laughs> it's uh, five. Okay. All five. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The chart box on. I'm not seeing that now. I can't even close this now. Where do I? One second. Oh, my screen is locked. Just give me a second. Let's be back. Is my screen visible? Yes. yes. Okay. There was a small glitch here. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, I'm audible, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So cool, all your answers were right. I'll move on to the next one. I don't have to repeat this, no? No, no, not at all. Uh, okay. Fine. Uh, so the next one, Vicky Datta. Uh, polio. When is polio given according to NIS? Uh, it's given OPV zero dose at birth, then mm -hmm. 6, 10, 14 weeks. Uh, and again, the OPV booster will give at 16 to 24 months and at 5 years. Directly 5 years? Uh, no, every uh, 6 months. Every 6 months? Up to sure? five years. It's every year, okay. It's every year up to five years. years. I'll give you a thing. What year. about IPV? Yes, IPV. IPV fractional IPV, IPV will give it. Uh, uh, fractional IPV will give it six, ten, six and fourteen weeks. Okay, right. So I'll open the next one. One dreaded and rare complication of uh, oral polio vaccine. Uh, vaccine associated paralytic polio virus. Yeah. What is the switch? A uh, switch is a transition from the uh, trivalent OPV to bivalent okay. on uh, the 17th April and 1st of May. It's converted. 
ஒரு <laughs> and uh, when is uh, i mean you know what is open while policy is that some vaccines you can use them uh, you know like up to 28 days this whole thing was so that vaccine wastage is uh, you know reduced and they don't apply to mr bcg and j so that was the thing i'll also give you uh, you know uh, so five questions right here okay next one is um, well well through do bhai yeah i'm here okay okay fine so at nine completed months what vaccine do you um, give you give either measles or you give mr1 and j okay name any three states in india where j outbreaks happen every year um so up bihar and jharkhand okay uh strain used in mr vaccine name the strain okay. edmonstrand zagreb correct uh, what about rubella you only talking uh, rubella is ra27 by 3 correct if child is not taken mr after 9 months till well till when can you give um so the you can give the you can give the second dose of mr at 18 to 24 to what months. age can you give uh, mr just the question um up to 5 years right and what is the route of administration and site of j of j um so it's given subcutaneously and um in the in the right arm right in the right in the right forearm <laughs> not forearm it's actually given on the left side i long give you points for that though okay so it's given on the arm only not in the forearm so uh j um and mr like you said the first one any three states you answered uh up and uh, bihar okay so other states are like karnataka tamil nadu assam and haryana jharkhand also has outbreaks there are 21 states in india where the outbreak happens but these are the states where predominantly it happens every year i think you you guys will see it in news right every year that Uh, either bihar or up has a lot of outbreaks of j in particular and in karnataka for us there are 13 districts where j is given j is not given in all the states and in all the districts so that's another thing that you know you will you can see it when you go uh, to the phcs at the time of vaccination particularly if you are in internship you can note that in most many places they don't in some places they give j uh, the strain used in mr vaccine is advanced zagreb and you have uh, ra27 bar 3 you can give it up to 5 years and it is subcutaneous on the left arm so j goes on the left mr goes on the right i mean an easier way to remember would be where is bcg there only you will give j left left that way okay uh next one is okay uh oh, let's see a dance um i except for the fifth one um everything else was right so four questions right okay so we'll move to the next one webber yes ma'am okay here are your questions um wait why is it again one second sorry it's not really there no? yeah identify what vaccine is this this is your question ma'am uh, this is the rotavirus vaccine right okay so when is it given according to nis and what is the route of administration ma'am uh, it is given by orally by the oral drops yeah when the oh, schedule fix 10 14 weeks right uh, why is it not given after 12 months 
uh, ma'am it increases the chances of intersusception right what are the different types of rotavirus vaccines that you know rotatec rotarix okay uh-huh. what is uh, i'll still give you points for that do you know what is given in india um, rotavac yeah uh so now you have vaccine while monitors which are meant for sense heat sensitive vaccines what is the test for cold sensitive vaccines ma'am uh, we have a shake test for the cold sensitive vaccine you right you right you right so um, you answered all five right okay so 6 10 14 weeks oral risk of intussusception it's rotatrix i mean rotatrix rotatec and rotavac and shake test is the answer so you get all five okay so uh, can we have the scores Yeah. So I'll tell the total scores after three rounds. Okay. Kun has scored twenty-eight marks. Okay. Vicky scored thirty. Okay. Dhruv scored twenty, and okay. Vibha has uh, scored twenty-six marks. Okay. Good going. So right. Vicky is still leading. Okay. So I'll move on to the next round now. Okay. So the fourth round is called the spotter round. Okay. the instructions are uh, again you will get each one of you will get one spotter and under each spotter there are three questions you don't have to identify the spotter what you have to do is whatever question is under that spotter you have to answer that first if you get that right you move on to the next questions now that spotter related question gets only one point the two main questions which are there will carry five points each there's no negative marking here also okay so i will move on to the question uh kunj Yes. Okay. Fine. So the first the spot here is a yellow bin. But name the seven categories of waste under uh, you know the yellow um, category. The anatomical waste, then biochemical waste, the uh, discarded uh, used or expired medicine, okay. microbiological waste, um, mm. uh, blood stained, uh, any cotton or any um, uh, dressing material. Uh, soil, okay. Uh, 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 Some more. Uh, used plastic. Uh, the slabs and the casts are used. Ah, uh, are you sure? Plastic you mentioned. Are you sure? I I give you. I give you the plastic. The slabs and the casts uh, which are used in orthopedics. Okay. Yeah, discarded in the low. Anything yeah. else? That in particular is not a category. Ah. Uh, You've got five, right? Okay, I'll I'll still okay. give you the question. Okay. Okay. So you were at a PHC helping with immunization, and now you have cotton, you have an unopened syringe in its cover, you have a vaccine vial. How do you segregate it? Um, cotton will go in yellow, and unopened syringe with its cover. Hmm. So if it is unopened, then Why will you discard? You will not discard it only. No, you Sorry. use it for vaccination. I'm just telling you. Acha, okay. You have, yeah, yeah. This is pre-vaccination, post-vaccination. Where will you? Acha, go? okay, okay. Our uh, cover will go in domestic waste, so uh, black bag. Okay. Uh, black bag. I uh, know. Uh, the syringe will, um, the plastic waste will go in red bag, and vaccine bag is a glass, um, content. I uh, know. The glass waste will go in blue content. Okay. And you want to throw the entire syringe into red. No, the, the syringe will go into red. The needle will go into the shafts. How is liquid waste disposed? Ah, uh, okay. 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 Tell me under what category it will fall. Now you know the colors. No, which category yeah. would it fall under? Ah, uh, like if it's a Like, uh, body secretions that will go in yellow bag. Uh, any liquid and, for that matter. Uh, uh, any liquid. Only. How yeah. is it disposed? The mm, how is it disposed? Auto cleaning or incineration? I guess I'm not sure. Uh, how do you incinerate liquids? I won't give you for that. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So no two marks for that. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, so okay. you get one point for uh, even though you're not, you know, like you, you mentioned, I think ah. five categories out of seven. So I'll give you one for the first one, and then you get five for the, you know, one over here where you've segregated it. The okay. second one I'm not giving you five. 
okay so uh, the categories are human and animal anatomical waste so this is two soiled waste you told about uh, you know the gauze cotton all of that mm. then expired okay. medicines then you have chemical waste liquid waste and lab waste so liquid waste comes under yellow itself okay Oh, and okay. uh, you you've segregated it correctly so if you have if you're mm. there at a vaccination center you'll need cotton cotton will go into yellow then you will remove that plastic cover first no before you vaccinate yeah. for the need that will go into the black bin then you have uh, the body of the syringe okay so that will go into the red yeah. one and then the needle you'll put it into the sharp so that's the white bin and the vial yeah. once you're discarding it that goes into blue so how yeah. liquid waste is disposed there's a separate collection system for all of it that goes into an effluent treatment system no incineration oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So you don't get points for the uh, five points are not there for the last one. You answered it wrong. Okay. Oh, yeah. We'll go to the next one here. Um, Bikki, this is your question. Um, what are the cutoff values? You know, when uh, you're calling a patient diabetic. Okay. Uh, fasting blood sugar level more than 126 mg per dl okay and uh, random blood sugar more than 200 mg per deciliter or okay. after post prandial uh, to end, after 75 uh, g load of anhydrous glucose in 200 ml of saline uh, then also cut off is 200 and hb one ac more than 6.5 percentage okay yeah right actually this was uh, one of uh, you know one of the patients at nostal camp which i had at my phc was 556 and uh, he told uh, it's normal only no so that is why i had taken a picture of this in particular right so you write about this we'll go on to the next one um, which national program caters to this condition uh, npc pcds uh, national program for prevention and control of Uh, cancer diabetes cardiovas- uh, cardiovascular disease and stroke okay what other diseases does this program cover barring these five that is obviously there in the name anything else for oh, one more tuberculosis tuberculosis something more yes, general uh, very so tuberculosis as ntp you know why worry anything you very close actually it's not tb no you want to pass it's hiv or tb i guess something no hiv has uh, national aids control program it's not here i would say fine they have integrated this program oh, yes, uh, yeah, rks uh, rbsk rbsk uh, for defects uh, rbsk some development defects no 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 i want a condition which is included i'm still giving you attempts okay so rbsk they have linked it to this program for rheumatic fever but one more condition which is added to this program i'll give you one last attempt no no yeah close your eyes any chronic lung diseases okay okay yeah so you were right about it fasting i mean uh, there is a glucometer reading so uh, the first uh, spotter anyhow diabetes 126 ng per dl and tbb as more than uh, you know 200 or even rbs for that matter more than 200 ng per dl uh, national program for prevention and control of cancer diabetes cardiovascular diseases and stroke and what other disease does this cover it is chronic respiratory disease But now i gave you three just a point like there's so additional like there's also nfld which has been included yeah, now yeah nfld no? is also added also. i didn't find it in the textbook that's why i didn't uh, Mm-hmm. yeah so you won't get 5 points for the last one okay the first one 1 point second one you will get 5 points okay so i'll move on to the next one do we ready yes okay so what is the net protein utilization of egg npu for egg um it's 1 or 100% correct right so you get the questions which vitamin is egg deficient in uh deficient in biotin you sure Sure, I'm giving you another attempt. You can take it. Yeah. Think over it. You have the next question on you know, the screen. Are you giving biotin as your answer? Oh no. Um, egg is deficient in uh, vitamin C. Yeah. Okay. Next one. And... Why is boiling of the egg preferred over raw egg? 
because boiling of the egg inactivates biotinidase enzyme, which is present in raw egg. Raw egg has avidin, okay. So avidin is inactivated when you uh, boil the egg, and therefore, uh, you know, you get biotinin from the egg that way. So you you're right here. I'll I'll give you the answer for vitamin C, okay. Yeah, so all right, NPU is 100%, egg is deficient in vitamin C, raw egg has avidin, avidin inhibits biotin absorption. So if you boil egg, you destroy avidin, therefore biotin can be absorbed that way. Fine. Uh, next one is um, Vebha. Ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, how much incentive does Asha receive, uh, you know, when couples undergo sterilization? Mm -hmm. Ma'am, uh, 500. No, I'll give you one more attempt. It's different according to the state, like it's in another high prevalence state or low prevalence state and according to whether the male is getting that sterilized or female. For, uh, this one, Janani Suraksha Yojana, they give it according to the rates. I mean, different states. This one's uniform. Because it's a uh, national family planning program ke under it comes. It's got one value. 250. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll pass it. I mean, you, you've given two wrong answers. So I'm can not I giving get the questions to... for this? Yeah, 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 you'll get the question. You can answer. But no points. Okay. How much population does one Asha worker cover? 1,000. Right. And what is the criteria to appoint one as Asha? Like, like what, you know, tell me like what her age should be. Um, the criteria is that the women should be married 25 okay. to 45 years of age. Okay. And uh, educated up to eighth class. Okay. Now they are. And are, should are be they... a resident of the. Huh. Should That's... be a resident of the village. Yeah. And should have leadership for it. That's it. Yeah. Uh, the latest update is from uh, currently from eighth grade, you know, classification. I mean, uh, what do you call it? A qualification, they should have finished 10th, is what we got to know recently when we were posted in PLCs. So that is all. Um, I won't get points for these questions. No, you won't. The first question was It is 1000 rupees. Totally exact half of it. And then again, you bought it down by half. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Also, uh, you know, like Asha's across India wear pink color uniforms. Either it can be a pink kurta or a pink sari. That's how you identify. That is why I kept this as a spotter. Yes, we were a part of a health camp uh, you know, two months back, and uh, that's when I got this picture. Yeah. So in case you find someone around a PHC or you know a village wearing pink, means it's an Asha worker. It's for identifying them. Okay. But anyhow, it's okay. You didn't get the first one. You got the other two, right? You still know this process of learning. Okay, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so we're done with four questions here. Uh, yeah, anyhow. Uh, so 1,000 rupees is there. And see, it's only up to two births. If, if the couple gives, you know, has a third child, then you're not going to give 1,000 rupees to that couple because they underwent sterilizations. Only up to two births are the couple receives 1,000. They cover, uh, you know, 1,000 uh, people. You know, Usually they say that one village has a population of 1,000. So they cover that one village. 25 to 45, preferably married, they can be widowed also, should have good communication skills, should be a member of that same community. And right now they say they should be 10 standard class. So that's it. So that's about it. So no scores. All right. So can we have the scores now? Yeah. So I'll tell it in the order from the highest. Mm -hmm. Nikki has scored 36. Okay. Kunj has scored 34. Okay. And there is Dhruva, uh, Dhruv with 31 points and okay. Viber with 26 points. Okay. You gave uh, five points, no, for uh, each of the right answer in this round? Yeah. First question, first point and remaining two, five each. Five, five points. Okay. Anyhow, these are just um, fun questions. Does anybody know what uh, empty calories means? Uh, calorie and alcohol, I guess it's two calories per no, I mean, what does it mean? Like, if you drink a beverage and I say that it has empty calories, what does that term mean? Any idea? When I say alcohol just, you know, has empty calories, what does it mean? It does not provide any nutrition, but only 
uh, just for sake seven calories per yeah kilo. it doesn't have uh, proteins or fats it is only going to give you you know seven kilo calories of energy you right okay uh, one more question so why is ragi called a pseudo cereal so what is a pseudo cereal first of all it's not deficient in some lysine or something yeah, like no, that no, no, not like that it's more towards uh, how uh, you know this thing is being consumed or it's about the processing part see in the you know the outer cover is actually removed when you're taking cereals and pseudo cereals you don't remove the outer cover that's why it's called a pseudo cereal i just found this one fun point which was there in park so i asked okay anyhow uh, this also is open okay any one of you can answer the next two ragi is in which micronutrient calcium right and any other millets you can name bajra yeah jowar also is there <laughs> yeah okay uh, really if you were from karnataka i would have asked but does anybody of you know uh, you know there are different mixes which are available uh, when a patient uh, has uh, sam like not initially but then when the patient is recovering you would give you know what that is Uh, this uh, Hyderabad mixture. Ah, uh, and yeah, one more. Okay, one more. Place in Karnataka. It's called Davan Gere. So the Davan Gere mixture is oh. having ragi in it, and Hyderabad uses wheat. Yeah. Okay. I thought I'll I first know. put this question. Then after seeing Nana from Karnataka, I was like, <laughs> no, I don't want to answer it. <laughs> right. Nice question. Now though. you know that. Yeah, you can go read up about uh, you know Davan Gere mix and Hyderabad mix. Very interesting to know what components are there and you know how that is used for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um four rounds are done, no? Yes, these are the answers I've already told them so I'm skipping this part. Okay. Now there is one bonus round here, okay? Uh so Bikki has the highest score, right? Yes. Yeah. So you get one bonus round. Like literally you will get a lead of 120 points if you decide to answer this round, okay? It's only got one question. and that one question it's just got one question with like several parts in it so if you get all right you get 120 points you keep giving negative you know like wrong answers in you know you start giving negative answers and you'll keep getting minus 5 for each thing that you go wrong in okay if we do, don't answer anything that that is now you get to make the choice now do you want to take it up or do you not want to take it up Do you want to, you know, like contest for one twenty points, or do you want to give it up? Then I'll give the chance to the next person, whoever has uh, the second highest score. I think that's Kunj. But if you decide okay, to answer this up. question, then you will start losing points. Yeah, you'll take it up. Okay. 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 That's that's really amazing. All right. So <laughs> I can see Kunj already making faces there. It should start with the person with the lowest points, na? <laughs> I'm giving you starting the, with the 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 questions actually pretty hard that's why I'm starting with the highest points first okay. because if you give wrong answers you will be like you'll be getting negatives and this is only one major question but it has parts in it okay I'll I'll move on to the question let's see how you take this all the rest so see here is how uh, you know there are several vaccines stored in an ice line refrigerator you have to name the vaccines from 1 to 12 Each vaccine that you name correctly, uh, you will get ten. If you go wrong, you get minus five. Start. Okay. Uh, first, first one, one is OP OPV. Correct. Uh, then we'll have. Ah. MR. Next. Uh, then we'll have. J on DPT. T C no sir not T uh, J I P V N I P V I P V N uh, no give me one answer what is number two I P V you are telling number two is I P V number two it's M R M R M R number two is M R missiles I sure you gave me three answers choose one no you write down the answer I P V I P V fine what is number three uh it's the you writing his answer down na ala ala whatever he says yeah give me number 
is it rota rota you can't ask me you have is to name rota? them i will tell it in okay. the ending okay the first you told opi then okay. i did then three you okay. told rota four yes four is uh, i don't know uh, it's i guess it's uh, it's ipv but you four. already put ipv no in uh, two Okay, okay, M R, okay, M R, M R, M R. It's missiles, sorry, it's missiles, missiles, missiles. Then five is rota, five is rota. Then six is, uh, six is, uh, B C. Six is what? B C G. Okay, six. You're telling B C G. Seven. Uh, seven is. Is it uh, hepat is B? Eight. penta not penta sorry uh, it's a uh, j okay you know j repeated no no j repeated okay yeah nine uh, nine is uh, tet is it the tetanus uh, dpt uh, then pentavalent yeah, yeah you told oh. dpt for 10 no Ah, 11 yeah then penta so penta 12 so uh, 12 i don't know <laughs> okay but i i really appreciate that you have uh, you know like answered this question it's actually very hard waiting list uh, so you learn some of the phone on unmute or something waiting list to start this question more per ke Uh, Tanusha, who's uh, on phone or something? Anyhow, okay, right. I really appreciate the fact that you have uh, you know attempted this question. So the thing is, it's like when we were at PHCs, we were taught this thing, and uh, that's why I put it up. It's now it's very practical uh, to know this part. All right, so I'll show the answers and let's see how many of them you got right. So first one is OPV. Okay, so OPV comes at the bottom. You got this right. So there's ten points for that. And the second one is measles. So all of these vaccines are being arranged according to you know how heat sensitive or cold sensitive they are. OPV is pretty heat sensitive. It's at the bottom. Then you have measles. So you told IPV instead of measles. So you get minus five. Okay. Then uh, third one was J. What did you tell? Rota. Okay. Third one is J. Fourth one is BCG. Okay. So there again minus five, minus five. Then um, fifth one is Rota. Which you told, you told Rota. Okay, sixth one is TT. So you told Rota for number five. I will give you ten points for that. TT again minus five because uh, you told BCG instead. Then um, seven was IPV. Hep B you told. Okay, eight is DPT. What was it? J you told. Okay. Then uh, nine is PCV. Ten is Penta. No. Huh? Okay. Eleven is uh, happy. I mean, there are actually twelve. So OPV, measles, J, BCG, rota, TT, IPV, DPT, PCV, penta, and then happy. And the last part is diluents. Twelve, twelve, no. One second. Last one he told he doesn't know. Okay. Fine. Uh, not to worry. But it's fine. You really attempted it. I really appreciate this part. Okay, it's fine. So we'll we'll calculate how much score you have lost there. But it's fine. Anybody else knew about this? Participants, nobody. Okay. It's tough to remember that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, usually, you know, what they'll ask us is, what is the thing that you keep on top? Are people mm. allowed to keep, uh, you know, their personal stuff in ILR? Oh. <laughs> yeah, because oh. some places, you know, they might do it, and then you find it on your like, okay, no, don't keep it there. And, okay, well. and most places don't do it. Okay, they don't do it. Actually. Mm. Just a question. Anyhow, so that is done. I will go to uh, Tanusha. You calculated the score, ah? Huh? Yeah, it was uh, Vicky's score was thirty-six uh, at the beginning. Hmm. It's come down to sixteen. Sixteen. And what was the score in this round? Uh, minus nineteen. Uh, Minus nineteen or minus twenty five? There is a small minus twenty five. Yeah, I mean, just uh, check it out again. Okay, we'll just keep that aside. We'll go to the rapid fire round. 
all right fine don't worry okay you can still yeah, make so it up the score is 11 ha huh? the score is 11 this minus 25 so it's 11 okay. okay fine fine no worries still have a round to catch up with okay am i Where already wanted to take up this round no who is the least points wanted to answer <laughs> it is hard okay yes no okay fine uh, so we'll go on to the next one so uh, the last round we are coming to is rapid fire round so again four of you uh, one set each so there are four sets each set has 10 questions okay and each question carries 10 points you will have 60 seconds now i'm actually going to keep the timer here uh, 60 seconds i'm not going to give extra time and uh, any wrong answer you have to attempt everything that comes and anything wrong that you give or anything you say you don't know i will give minus 5 there like you will have the screen with 10 questions uh, 60 seconds and you have to answer all 10 so can we pass the question or can we not pass the question no you have to uh, you have to attempt all 10 you can't pass uh, okay if you say don't know then negative 5 uh, no yeah if you say don't know also negative Like we, we, we can come back to the same question after attempting all ten. So oh, if you want, I I'll give you uh, the option of like coming back and answering it. But if you don't huh. answer it, uh, even uh, you know if you say an answer once, I will not consider a second answer. If you huh. come back to it, it is fine. You have sixty seconds. It's up to you in what order so, you want to do it. Suppose we run out of time and we don't complete all the questions, then then that's again negative five. Not bad. So all will be negatives then. Sixty okay. seconds. Try attempting as much as possible. Okay. So basically, all ten questions will be projected at once. Yes, so, I want them one after another. They'll all be coming at once. Okay, I also set the time. Uh, we uh, please uh, will please don't read the question. We'll answer number wise. Sorry. Uh, we don't read the question. Yeah, we can answer on the screen it. like number. You have the okay. questions on screen. Okay. Sixty seconds. You have to answer everything. What order you want to answer is up to you. Okay, but uh, if you don't attempt or you go wrong, then uh, that's minus five. Okay. Any doubts? Any more doubts? No. Okay. Doubt. Fine. Okay. So I'll start. Set one. Um. Okay. Okay. Fine. Get a minute. No. No. Okay. Fine. Three, two, one. Kun, here's your set. Ah, uh, first is hydrogen peroxide. Ah, uh, second. Uh, second is pneumonia. Okay. Then. Ah, uh, th- third is ah uh, two calend. Uh, Seventy-two hours. Ah, uh, fourth is true. Ah, uh, five is five hundred grams. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, eighth is um, yeah, abdominal pain. Uh, ah. Okay. Mm, Paris Green is um. You have ten seconds. Oh, arsenic. Uh, it's a contact poison or something. Three, two, one, done. Okay. okay. So I'll put the answers. All right. Uh, please calculate the scores. Okay, Tanusha. Yeah. yeah. Eight months. Okay, so disinfectant used to disinfect rooms is ethylene oxide. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Second phase of anthracosis is progressive massive fibrosis. It's not pneumonia. Okay. 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 After how many hours of admission is is it said to be HAI? It's forty eight hours. You told seventy two. Oh. Okay. Okay. OCP oh. is true. Then stillbirth rate is Peter's weighing thousand grams. Okay. World Tobacco Day. You didn't answer, no. It's thirty-first May. Okay. Um, Patna based sperm uh, that is actually called Shulab Shachale. Oh, okay. Then uh, IUCD is bleeding more than pain. Pain is the second most common sign. Yeah. Okay. Ninth yeah, one you okay. didn't answer. No, I didn't. <laughs> That's the common sense answer. Who by phone uses road traffic yeah. accident? You <laughs> okay. told cop. You you told something about arsenic, no? Uh, ah, asam asenic uh, compound. I'll, I'll give you that. It's copper acid or arsenic, but I'll, I'll give you ten points there. Okay. okay. Everything else is a negative. <laughs> I, I think I will have to recalculate now if answers go like this. I'll, I'll take it as a minus of two instead of minus of five. Let me see. 
Okay. So Priya, yeah. you have answered two questions, right? Right. Yeah. Two out of four. And not course. answered ones uh, get the negative score. Yeah. Fine. A uh, minus five, no, in this round. Yeah, it's minus five. Look, Vicky Datta is like calculating right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I lost the great <laughs> chunk <of> number <laughs> for that. Okay. All right. So okay. um, okay. So minus twenty for this round. Hmm. Oh. Okay. I hope they don't go in negative. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. If it is, then I will change the scoring. No problem. I'll make it minus. Hmm. So let me see. Okay. Anyhow. Okay. Hmm. Um. Vicky, ready? Okay. Ready. Okay. I will set the timer. Give me a second. Um. Three. Two, one, go. Yeah. No answer yet. Come on. Uh, uh, Begasosis. Uh, Begasosis is uh, thermoactinomyces secondary. For mm-hmm. this is uh, disab- disability defects, deformity, and development and delays. Mm-hmm. DMPA is known as uh, DMPA is uh, depo provera or my uh, depo provera. Hmm. Anyhow, next, next. Uh, yard six, uh, yard stick for obstetric and pediatric care is a maternal mortality rate, uh, infant mortality rate. The national dewarming days are on 10th and uh, February and 10th August. Then socioeconomic states in rural area BG Prasad, BG Prasad modified BG Prasad. Then a ventilation use sentry, uh, it's false, it is false. Gaussian curve is other than its normal curve. Health, uh, health sign of strabulus is emporiatics. You have then first questions. one is first first one is uh sodium uh in this uh, uh, not sevlon sorry uh that's that one uh, uh, yeah not say, bitter in, bitter in, bitter in, bitter in, bitter in, bitter in. Okay. i won't consider it but uh fine okay so let's see okay first one is hydrogen peroxide something that we commonly use in wards you know for uh, wounds and discharging ulcers it's hydrogen peroxide then, I mean, you're right about using povidone iodine, but uh, it's actually hydrogen peroxide for the discharging ulcers and stuff to clean that. Then, uh, etiological agent causing bagososis is thermoactinomyces saccharide. That was right. Four Ds of RBSK, you told correctly. Defect, deficiency, developmental delay, and uh, you know childhood diseases. See, the, the question was, DMPA is also known as what? You know, how, how is it? What is the, uh, you know, like how Niro this for can like that? It's the program. It's the brand name, I guess. I don't want the full form. I want. You didn't ask the program, no. You asked the. You didn't ask the program, no. I. Antra is the program. Antra is not the, the program. Antra is how it is sold. Like, like you have uh, Saheli, you have uh, Ezi pills, we have Nirod, like that. Antra. Okay. Okay. We have been. Antra was the program. <laughs> Sorry. Next one is uh, which indicator is yardstick? It's perinatal mortality. You told MMR first, then you went to IMR. You could have landed up at PMR, but I wouldn't have given you. Deworming days, you're right. Feb 10th, August 10th. How do you know this? Uh, I read on my SPM day. <laughs> okay. See, social economic status, you told BG Prasad. BG Prasad is something you can use for both urban and rural. I was looking for something in rural. But rural, we can BG Prasad only. Because something I've specific done to research. Rural. Like, uh, we use Kupus. Still, you can consider no BG Prasad. For, uh, urban. And I because I, I read today in the classification. Okay, like you it's can use the I read that BG was Google. there. Okay, then I ask you what is Uday Pahar? Because you know, Still, uh, you can see, consider I'll tell you how it is. Uday Pahar's scale, what happens is they consider the amount of land owned and stuff, which is a very, uh, you know, a, an indicator for the rural area. So that way. Because okay. I only mentioned rural, I did not say urban and rural. So I won't give you points there. Okay. Okay. Then uh, plenium ventilation, you told false, no? Yes, mm. yes. Yeah. So it's centrifugal. That's right. Gaussian curve, normal curve is correct. Temporiotics is also correct. So that means you got one, two, six. three, four, four, five, six. Six on ten. Okay. The others go in negatives. Tanush, have calculated the score? Tanusha? Hello. Yeah. Yeah, so he, yeah. This this round he scored forty plus forty. Okay. Fine. So he's made it up for that last round. Uh, you are entering the negative for everyone or only for me? <laughs> because huh? last time, last he got twenty. I guess only positive twenty. Then with negative, he will get less. Yeah. Minus yeah. eight. 
No, I'll go through the scoring again. No worries. I'm just making sure they've done it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Kunz, don't get confused. I'll see you again. I'll be checking all the scores again. Yeah. Okay. Anyhow. Next one. Uh, okay. One second. Wait, wait, wait. Do we ready? Yes. Okay. So, one sec. I need to set the timer. Okay. Three, two, one. One, go. Most common cancer. The second one is um, lung cancer. Mm, then? Um, elderly is false. Okay. Um, oldest uh, national is NVBDCP. Okay. Um, anemia is the most common cause of maternal mortality in India. Mm -hmm. and then uh, no, left. so single use post coital pill is ulipris okay. cholesterol um, breto index is for it's for ad it's okay it's for uh, qlex um, ozone is answer only i'll consider then cholesterol Next. content of one egg is 20 uh, okay. Okay, time's up, time's up. Um, okay, so um, I'll go to the answer. You didn't answer the first one, no? Ozone's used to disinfect no. water. <laughs> yeah, you can use ozone to disinfect water. Then most common, you told lung CA, I'll take it, okay? It's actually bronchogenic CA. What happens is most people end up telling mesothelioma over here. That's why I put this question in. All right. Asbestosis is known. The most common cancer because of asbestosis is bronchogenic CA. You told lung CA, I'll take it. Fine. Although it's not specific, I'll take it. Uh, then uh, rehab centers, you're uh, you know, right. It's false. It's actually seen at CHCs. The oldest is National Family Planning Program. That came in 1952. I think vector borne disease control program came a little later. And NLEP came after uh, National Family Planning Program, which is 1955. That way. Then uh, common cause of maternal mortality is hemorrhage. Anemia is, of course, a factor, but hemorrhage is the most common cause. Okay, like, you know, postpartum hemorrhage that way. Then International Day of Older Persons is on October 1st. Britu Index is for ADs. You told ADs first, no? Yeah. I I'll consider it. You told QLX next, but anyhow. Uh, Cyanogas is used for rat burrow. Single-use uh, post coil pill, crystal is correct. And cholesterol contains 250 mg. You told 20 mg. Yeah. So, how many correct? Four, Four, correct. Uh, yeah. So you calculate the score, okay? It's 10 for this round. His yeah. score. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay. So we'll move to the next round. Web hub? Yes, ma'am. Ready? Yeah. All right. So I will reset it. Three, two, one, go. Etiology of uh, farmer's lung is the uh, pigeon fibers and morning after pills are also known as the emergency contraceptives. Theme for World Health Day 2020 was Our Planet, Our Health. Most common cause of neonatal mortality is uh, pre prematurity or uh, low birth weight. World Leprosy Day is on uh, uh, fortified food is identified by which symbol vaccination is recommended by WHO after a disaster? Disaster. Uh, true, depending upon true, depending upon the uh, vector for pistachia plant, Mansonia. Yo, I told Legal you. Legal blood, 30, 30 milligram, but this is your tenth one. Okay. Uh, and which one I left? Uh, most commonly used ida four is the uh, 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 chlorine gas. Chlorine gas. World leprosy day yeah, is on. You know what? I'll give you one more question, okay? Because uh, one of the answers are over here. I'll give you one. Huh? Vaccination is. Uh, what was your answer for the eighth one? Eighth one, uh, I said uh, true. It depends upon the disaster. Like if it is uh, floods, like no, I said, no, I, I said it is true. That's it. Okay. I'll, I'll give you one more question and I'll give you like two seconds to answer that. Two seconds. Yeah, because five, five the ninth years. one is visible here. Okay. 
that way. Six seconds for each, na six seconds for ten questions. Fine. So six okay, seconds for one question. Seconds, fine, fine, fine. So um, yeah, six seconds. I'll give you. Uh, it. Let me tell you the question. One second. Turn on the timer also. Okay. Chandler's index is used for which organism? Chandler's index. Sandfly. Done. Okay. So that goes wrong. It's for hookworm. Okay. Okay, because I put up the answer for the ninth one here. That way, all right. Fine. So uh, how many right? I'll tell you the answer. See, uh, most widely used iodophore is povidone iodine. That's the iodophore. All right. Then etiology of farmer's lung. You told uh, pigeon fibers. It's I wanted the specific etiology like micro spora polyphenia. Right. That's the But organism. But this is also related to pigeon, right? I wanted the organism like the the previous question had thermo acnomycetes okay, okay. right yeah morning after pills are called post coital pills but you told emergency contraceptives I'll give it to you it's fine theme for World Health Day is right it is our planet our health common cause for neonatal mortality is prematurity now World Leprosy Day is celebrated on the first Sunday of you know every January every year okay fortified food is identified by which symbol so it comes in a F and a plus. You can like Google okay. it up. There's an F and a plus that comes according to. So you we have this organization called FSSAI. Uh, have you guys seen it on every food packet that you buy? Okay, so uh, they regulate the standards of food in India. So that has this logo called F plus that comes if it is fortified. So that's what I meant. Which vector with? Okay, this is my answer. Yeah, fine. You, uh, my question to you was about um, uh, this one, no? Yes, yeah, Chandler's index. So that is for hookworm, and the legal limit you are right, thirty mg per hundred ml. Okay, so how many? Four, right? Uh? Okay, so your score is Tanusha's score. So how many did he get right in this round? Four, four, four. Okay, three. And this it's vaccination, no, is recommended by WHO after a disaster. You told true, right? It's actually false. See, do you know why? Why is vaccination not recommended? Like if it's is a it case of uh, who is it? Yeah, you you can you can attempt ever if you go wrong. Uh, like doesn't it depend upon the type of disaster? Like in case of floods, uh, the some of the diseases will be on a higher prevalence rate just after disaster. So the vaccines catering to that particular disaster, disaster, like for the vector borne diseases, would be. Advice for mass immunization. Why? Okay, so the logic behind WHO telling no to vaccination when there's a disaster is see whatever After resources are available, people. Okay, like you want them, you you want to divert the resources to help out people to rescue them, then for the medical aid and all of that. If I employ people in vaccination, then that's a whole new thing. Like cold chain should be ensured. Vaccine supply. Someone has to monitor. Someone has to give vaccination. Someone has to be in charge of you know discarding those. Uh, Used vaccines, all of that. So I. But it I is. Uh, but it is after that. after a disaster. Now it's not during the disaster. So once the disaster has gone, and a rehabilitation mitigation is going on, then after a disaster, vaccination can be. I, it's still not recommended. Or, like you so know. We will stop vaccination after a disaster. All vaccination no, activities. No, not not vaccination. Not we're not talking about NIS. We're talking about in, you know like you told certain the prevalence of certain diseases will go high after a disaster. No, like. Uh, waterborne diseases in case of floods, you can think of cholera, you can think of typhoid, all of these. Okay, so okay. that was what the question meant. Alright, like, so WHO does that recommend vaccination following a disaster? It is no, it doesn't. We are not talking okay. about national immunization schedule here. It is just about those you know disease prevalences that can go high. Do you want to vaccinate people against that? Which is false. You don't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. So I guess we have come to the end of the quiz. All right. Yeah, that's done. Are we? Can you tell me his score, Weber? I mean, uh, Weber score, Tanusha. It is thirty. Uh, in this round, it's plus ten. Plus ten. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. How, how did you guys find the quiz so far? I mean, barring my, you know, errors in spelling and stuff there. Yeah, I could have done that, but yeah. How were the questions? And you know, did you guys learn something? Yes. Yeah, the quiz was very like inquisitive, thinking a lot and more on practical terms than on theory per se. 
so it was a very nice quiz and a very generous quiz master also giving us <laughs> that every point and giving second attempt third attempt and so on like the quiz okay what about vicky you know i i frankly thought he was looking answers from somewhere <laughs> everything he's answering again and again that was really nice right and again yeah. i would like to mention again really appreciate you for taking up that round it's actually hard right? yeah. how did you find it yeah questions were awesome especially the second round the clinical case approach there i th- i think this types of question we handled in our regular day to day life plus in the coming entrance exam also such clinical oriented questions will be asked so it was it's a mix of of all the one liners plus the some bouncer questions were also there in between and also the bonus round which i screwed up the thing it was fun to take that round uh, overall the quiz was awesome Right. Thank you. What about Drew? Um, I quite enjoyed the quiz. It was a really good learning opportunity, especially the thing about the pink sarees and the Hyderabad and Devanagari regiments. I'll read up. Haven't read it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. I I remember you told me last week. No, you weren't prepared for the quiz. Yeah, but I haven't. Like, I'm a, I'm an intern right now, so I haven't touched PSM in two years. and that's fine you still managed to answer quite a lot that's pretty good yeah just reaching in from my memory and random guessing <laughs> that's good what about weber uh yes ma'am the quiz was really very informative and like there were so many rounds and time limit so that kept us on the toes all throughout the quiz so it was really enjoyable experience thank you right so i hope everyone got to learn you know a lot from the quiz uh because i know a lot of times you know when you're in third year you look at parks and you're like okay why is this textbook like this why are we studying this subject and i i frankly loved community medicine during my third year and when it came to internship we have three months of comed and i actually had a really good time there was a lot of learning and uh, in the prelims also uh, if you guys i mean you know notice that a lot of them were actually, most of the i think 20 out of those 30 questions were my personal uh you know cases from i mean photos from my uh what do you say um uh, photo collection you know of the cases which i had so i prepared them based on that and even here i thought instead of keeping it you know more so theoretical and one liners i thought let us add in some practical aspects i would have loved adding and making it more practical but i thought it would become very hard so i didn't do that 